Hi, my name is Mike Skinner from The Streets and you're watching Fuse On Demand. Get it when you want it. Incoming! I got into making music when I was a wee lad. I was a huge fan of rap and you know I think like with most people it's a thin line between being a fan and actually starting to participate in it. I started buying records around 12, and I wanted to be a DJ. By the time I was, I'd say, 18, I'd already run the gamut through being a graffiti writer, a DJ, a break dancer, and, you know, naturally, I'm kind of lazy, so rapping was the easiest of the four elements, which is what I stuck with. From there, it went to, you know, me trying to form little crews in my city with other people who were like-minded to eventually find the crew that you work with and stick with, and that is what I have today with atmosphere. They call me a jerk once they get to know me, but they don't stop calling, they read me well. It's no work if I was phony, I'd win a trophy. Who needs to make records when there's seeds to sell? Freak the bell and make it all spin crooked. God, please help, too much grin to look at. Grab the tree by the limb and shook it. Like, have you seen my self-esteem? Where the hell did you put it? Atmosphere formed in 1991 with me and another guy named Spawn. We started to work with a few other people that started coming into the circle. Ant being one of them, we started making beats, and Sadiq being another guy who just kind of started being a jack of all trades. Around 98, Spawn actually left the group to go and find a better life. And uh, and what we have left now is me and Ant, and still Sadiq in the, in, the, in the back. You can't see him, he hides. So over the 15 years, we haven't really changed too much aside from, aside from Spawn leaving. Um, it's still the same, idiots. Money ain't here, the raise ain't coming. Just me and my son and that crazy woman and those bartenders. This whole whole country got everybody swallowing that lunch meat. If you've never heard our music before, it's kind of like spreading frosting and chewing on rubber bands. We try to stick as much as we can to the traditionalist roots of hip hop. I grew up on um, mid to late 80s boom bap hip hop, you know. Uh, a lot of it was positive and Afrocentric. A lot of it was conscious at the time. And so that's where our foundation is. I grew up on community-based revolution rap and I make rap that's a little bit more personal revolution, so to say. God, it sounds arrogant. Like I said, you know, I, I feel like a child of the conscious era of that movement. And so the majority of my themes are about, you know, knowledge of self, you know, uh, try to figure out how to make life better.